Apple's AI is here, the latest iPhones have an action button, and Apple Shortcuts app is even more useful than ever. In this video, I'm going to break down 10 Apple shortcuts that I personally use because they're actually useful to my everyday life. These are shortcut automations such as focus mode changes based off your location, an automation that will set an alarm to what time you need to leave to work based on the traffic for the day, and one that will make your action button trigger different scenes based on the time of day. I'll link all the shortcuts in the description below so you guys can download them for yourself and comment below if you guys want to see a part two. Let's get into it. Up first, I got my morning report automation. To set this one up, you will go to automations on the shortcuts app and click the plus sign at the top right to add a new automation. Then you will choose alarm, choose is stopped, wake up alarm and run immediately. Then you can create the automation actions. This is where you can input the shortcut I've created called upcoming day summary or recreate and customize it yourself. The shortcut breaks down by first pulling the current date. It gets the current location of where I'm at. Then it gets the current weather of my current location. From there, it will find all calendar events that are for today, sort by start date and oldest first. Then I use the repeat with each item action with the calendar events. In the repeat action, I grab the title, the start date, split the start date by new lines. This makes it easier to read later. Then I get the items in range one from split text. And then on the text, I have a dash with an item on the repeat list separated by a semicolon and the title. Then I add the text to a custom variable called upcoming events before I end the repeat action. Now for the notification message I want this automation to send me, it's gonna start by greeting me and telling me today's date, where I am at, the weather for the day, and what it feels like so I know how to dress. Then it will list out all my upcoming events for the day. This message is sent via text message to my own cell phone number. I decided to go text rather than notification action because the notifications go away after you open it. But with this, I can reference it throughout the day anytime I want. Now, when I stop my morning alarm, I will immediately get a text message that tells me my schedule for the day. And if you guys want, you can also switch this to a nighttime report if you switch it to a wind down alarm and then switch the upcoming event to tomorrow so you can see it the night before instead. This next one is a simple and straightforward shortcut. It is the auto low power mode shortcut. I'm very surprised this is not a common setting on the iPhone, but here it is. On the automation tab in the shortcut app, click the plus sign and this time scroll down to battery level. Adjust it to 20% and then fall below and run immediately. Then for the action, you will hit the new automation, add action and type in set low battery mode. Choose this action and you're done. Now when your battery falls below 20%, your iPhone will automatically turn on the low power mode, saving you the last bit of juice to get you through the day. This is great for when you're traveling or not going to be near a charger for a while. Now for a shortcut that I use twice a day, every day. This is the shortcut I created called TOD, means time on day, scene. You can create this in any room you want, but I created specifically for my office and I first featured this shortcut in my office tour video. This allows me to activate two different home scenes based on the time of day, using a range of time, such as eight to five, instead of a specific time. This shortcut breaks down by first pulling the current date, then it formats the date. The date format is custom and the format string is HH to just pull the hours of the day. The time is by 24 hours. So for instance, 13 is 1 p.m. Then followed by an if statement where if the formatted date is between seven and 17, this equates to 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. It will activate the start work home scene I have that turns on all my office lights and turns on my work focus mode. Otherwise, it will set my end work scene and turn off my work focus mode. I've attached this action on my action button on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So in the mornings when I click it, my office lights, purifier, humidifier, and work focus mode all turn on. And then anytime I click the action button after 5 p.m., it will turn everything off, including my focus mode. This convenience has made this shortcut one of my personal favorites since I use it every single day. Now, before I move on to the others, if you guys are liking these shortcuts so far, then do me a solid and hit the subscribe button because unfortunately, there is no shortcut to growing a YouTube channel. And even though I want you guys to watch more of my videos, this next shortcut is all about limiting your time on social media. Under shortcuts, go to automations, then hit the plus sign at the top. This time you will scroll down and choose app. Then you choose the app or apps of choice. For me, I'm gonna choose Instagram and TikTok.
then I choose is open and run immediately. For the automation action, you will plug in the social media timer shortcut I made, or again, recreate and customize it yourself. The shortcut prompts a choose from menu action that gives me three options. First being set a 15 minute timer, second, resume in a current timer, and third, get time left on the timer. And that's it. Now, anytime I open either my Instagram or TikTok app, this prompt will appear and I could quickly set a 15 minute timer to go off and let me know that my social media break is over. The resume timer is there for when I switch between the apps in a single session so I don't have to set a new timer every time. And then the get time left option lets me know how much time is left in the current session. This is a great little tool to help me limit my time on social media so I'm not watching funny cat videos all day. Now shortcuts also allows you to make automations based off location. My favorite location shortcut has to be my grocery list shortcut. Anytime I go to my local grocery store, my grocery list comes front and center on my phone. To do this in your shortcuts app under automation, hit the plus sign and this time choose the arrive trigger. Type in the location where you want to activate this automation. For me, that is Sprouts. You can even adjust the radius of the circle if there's a place near there that you also go to a lot. Then you choose at any time and run immediately. Then you'll be able to add a new automation, hit new action, and type and choose open reminders list. Then in my case, I chose a list that I've called groceries. So now when I pull up to the grocery store, my iPhone will automatically bring my grocery list so I don't forget what I need to buy and my wife doesn't get that. This next shortcut I found online and it is great when dining out with friends. It is called Tip Split Pay by DJ Manny D. However, I did feel like it was missing something so I actually added an extra function that allows me to save photo receipts. I won't be breaking this one down in detail since this is a very long shortcut but I will show you how it works. When activating a shortcut, it will allow you to choose the option Tip Split Pay Receipts and when you hit it, it will ask you to enter where you ate. You enter something like, let's say for me, Benihana, which is one of my favorite restaurants to eat at. Then it will ask you how much the damage was. Let's say it was $300. It will then ask you how much you tipped. Let's say 20%. And then it will ask you if you are splitting the check and then how many people you are splitting this with. Then afterwards, it will show you a summary and how much each person will pay. This is now saved in your dining receipts option we saw on the main menu. But now when you hit done, it will prompt you to scan the receipt so you can save it on your folder. This is great for when you want to do your taxes and you want to write it off, or if you just want the reference receipt later without having to keep the receipt with you at all times. And if you click the shortcut again and go to the dining receipts, you could see the summary there. But again, you will need to go to the file you saved the receipts at to see the actual photo. And after a big meal like that, sometimes you get into what I like to call a food coma. And I got the perfect shortcut for something like this. It's called the nap shortcut. This is a simple setup. The shortcut breaks down by first setting an alarm for 35 minutes. Then it turns on the do not disturb focus mode because you know, you don't want to be interrupted during your nap, of course. Then it will wait 2,130 seconds exactly because this is equivalent to 35 minutes and 30 seconds. So after that wait step, it will automatically turn off the do not disturb mode. This is an important step because many times I forget to switch that back off and went hours with people asking me, why I wasn't responding it's because the do not disturb was still on. Now you can obviously customize the time and then add 60 seconds per minute you want to add. I don't know why there isn't a minute option yet, but hopefully in the future. Okay guys, now it's time for a shortcut that I think might be the most useful one on this list. This is the shortcut I like to call don't be late. This shortcut will make sure you make it to work on time and it doesn't matter if you're someone who has a work time that's the same time every day or someone whose schedule is different every day. The only requirement about this shortcut is that you need to have a calendar event in your calendar that says work or whatever you label for your work event. Then for the action, the shortcut will look something like this where it will first find all the calendar events where start date is today and the title is work. Then it will get the driving time from the current location to your work address. I just put Panera since I work remote now and sometimes I like to work there. Then also track the travel time from the start time. And then also track another five minutes from that calculation to make sure when the alarm goes off, you still have an extra five minutes to get things ready and leave the house. And since this is something you'll be using every day, you don't want to have a ton of alarms on the alarm app. I added the find all alarm step where it finds all the alarms labeled leave for work and then deletes them. Then to have shortcuts not ask you every time to delete alarm, you have to go to shortcut settings, go to advance, 
and then turn on allow deleting without confirmation. However, for the first time you run this shortcut, it will ask you which alarm you want to delete since you might not have an alarm already labeled leave for work. But after the first time it is created, it won't ask you again. This is a great shortcut to ease your mind to make sure you are never late for work. Now this next one might not be needed in the future since Apple's AI, Apple intelligence is coming to the iPhone, but we have yet to know how that will work. So in the meantime, this is the Ask Chat GPT shortcut. And there's two versions of this, the text and live conversation version. These are both really easy to set up. And the first one is simply after downloading the Chat GPT app on your iPhone, you go to shortcuts and you'll create a new shortcut hit add action, then you're gonna type and choose chat GPT app, then you choose ask chat GPT. Then for the variable, you choose ask each time. So now when you activate the shortcut, a prompt appears and you can ask chat GPT whatever you want. Now the other version of this is my favorite because it's like a beefed up version of Siri. Instead of choosing ask chat GPT, you would choose start voice conversation with chat GPT. And then when the shortcut is activated, you will get a Siri-like interface that allows you to talk to ChatGPT. It is super cool because it is way more lifelike than Siri's voice and the responses feel like a natural conversation. Take a listen. Why are whales so big? Whales are so big because the ocean provides them with a lot of buoyancy, which helps support their massive bodies. Additionally, the abundance of food in the ocean allows them to consume enough to sustain their size. Their large size also helps them travel long distances and store energy efficiently. Wow, that's really cool. Hope you have a great day. Thanks. I hope you have a great day too. And when a conversation is done, you will get a summary of that conversation. Okay guys, so we've gone over quite a bit of shortcuts now, but this one specifically ties all the non-automated ones together. This is the action button menu shortcut. So Apple created this action button to allow you to customize this button to do whatever you want. Now the downfall is that you can only do one thing at a time, but with this shortcut, you could have to do multiple things with just one extra step. In the shortcuts app, you will create a new shortcut and choose the action, choose from menu. From here, you will title each menu step you want with the title of the shortcut you want to add to it. Then you will input the shortcut's action to run a shortcut of your choice. So in mine, I have the office scene that turns on and off my office scene, depending on the day, my pay tax split receipts for when I'm at a restaurant, live chat GPT to get more in-depth answers, nap time for, well, naps, and Apple frames, which I'll save for another video. But these are the 10 shortcuts that I find extremely useful to my everyday life. And if you guys want an automation or shortcut that I discuss in this video, I actually have them all linked below in the description. And if you guys like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe and even comment what shortcuts you would like to see in a future video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.